then today I'm going to be doing actually my first tutorial video, probably the only one I'll ever do because it's just something I want to show. Smooth video pad project. You might notice that some of my videos, I say I have incredible box and 60 FPS, and you might be wondering how do I make it smooth with the smooth video pro product. If you would just want to skip, I'll, I'm going to explain how it works uh, down at the bottom. If you want to skip ahead, I'll have timestamps. Okay, so here we have how it works. So basically, it j just look at this image. Like you have, the, you have, you know, this. This the car here, then the car goes there. Then it uses uh, you know AI technology to figure out where it goes in between, there, and then you know it just puts images between. So you know this is a really cool way to get really smooth video. So then you would just download. I already have it downloaded. I'm, I'm sure you could, if you can't figure out how to download it, then like how you click download, you know, then you go to like the wizard and like you select which things you want. It's it's pretty basic. Okay. Now I do also want to say that this is paid. It's twenty dollars if you want it forever. Um, but you can also do the demo for thirty days, which isn't as good as the original one because it because I did it with my intro in the trial, and then when I did it afterwards, it was much better. Um, so basically, this is going to be how to convert MP4 files out of twenty four percent, twenty four FPS footage, sorry, not percent. And then making it 60. So you, you need the transcoding feature. I don't know what the video profile was saying. Don't ask me. We're going to be talking about transcoding. So this is CPU usage. This is like how, like this is how hard you want your PC to work. So you might want to have it lower if you don't have as good a PC, or if you want to actually do other stuff because it you know might like completely take all over the power. Uh, definitely have quality and bitrate all the way max, no matter what. Um, as for the encoder thing, don't ask me. And I recommend when, like, when done, like, do nothing, because I don't know why I'd want to shut down or put your computer to sleep. But, I mean, if you do, okay, I don't understand why, though. So we're going to be browsing... Oh, you're not supposed to see those. It might not be out yet. Um, <laughs> so I have recorded a bunch of Noteboxers footage and 24 FPS. Now... Normally when I recorded before, it was in fake 60 FPS, kind of. Well, because the animations that run in Box I think, are like 24 or 30. So I had to manually set my OBS to 24 FPS. And if you want to learn how to do that... Oh, move, move on over. Whoa, that looks so weird. Any, anyways. Uh, so you're going to go to File, Settings, Video, and you adjust it. I can adjust it now because I'm... You just click on it and hit 24, or I guess anything else if you really want. Okay, move, move, move over to my other screen. Okay, um, so let's see, let's, here, this is version 1, we want to start with version 1. So, we want to make 24 FPS, 60 FPS. You can also ignore the HR4 resources. So, like, you can make stuff go, like, to insanely high levels. Like, I've gotten, I tried stuff out, like, 300 FPS. Obviously, I don't have the monitor for that. Um, but it was really, I slowed it down. It was really interesting to watch. So, basically, well, actually, I should probably turn it down a little bit because I'm recording and I don't want that to die. So, we hit start. And it gives you an estimate on how long it's going to take. It's going to take a little bit longer than normal, just because I didn't have the CPU usage nearly as high. Just so, like, the recording won't die. You know, it's always a good thing. So, you know, you just wait. You know. Uh, and while we wait, I guess you could, you know, play a game. Oh no, I launched it twice. Oh, that was fun. Oh, it's so close, it's at 97%. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. Hey, you know, it does pop up a notification when it finishes. So now we're going to open. I guess it'll be like a little sample, but you can definitely tell the head motion. M motion, motion is smooth. Huh? Yeah, thank you. It's really that simple. 
transcoding. Pick the MP4 file you want, you know. And you can select the options, and then that's pretty much it. Then you just gotta wait. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Do remember that subscribers help. You can do the under 100 club, I guess. You know? Before a thousand. Hopefully we make it that far. Alright, bye!